After two turns at uh, Mikata Gahara, we see the Oyamata clan over here has fled. They were the ones who were routing in the center here. They did an act of withdrawal and, well, just decided to keep on going. Um, so the rest of uh, that area, though, is still engaged in combat. Um, we've got a couple of Tokugawa uh, they've severed heads on a couple of the uh, Takeda clan uh, one the clan that fled and then also this one here just in single combat and actually they've also had somebody uh, over on the Takeda run from single combat and lose face so you know they're getting the advantage in the leader attacks and they have better leaders um, numbers are the question They've got to make two more clans flee before uh, before they lose more than two. And then they have to get off the map, and they have to last six turns. And it's only two have gone by. And the monster is ready to move at this point by the rules. Uh, whether or not I will is still kind of a moot point, because I've still got three clans to activate back here. Uh, so I think I'll probably hold off on moving them. But we'll see. In terms of winning the scenario, it might be a necessity to move the big clan. I don't know. Uh, he can always move around and try to collect up other clans. He's got a good range, just like uh, just like Yasuo. Um, all right. Well, that's it. After three turns at uh, Mikata Gahara, well, that big Takata uh, force had to move up. Um, I wasn't going to do it just because, yeah, it's kind of painful. <laughs> but uh, he had to make a, uh, a trump attempt. And you can only trump with at least as good. And he was trying to uh, trump uh, the tri prime, uh, the Tokugawa himself. So. The only way to stop something bad from happening was to bring that army, get it moving. He kind of wanted to bring this rear force up first before he gets his own force moving at the very least. But uh, just because I never believe in having something being wasted, and that's pretty much out of the battle now unless things go horribly wrong. But uh, things aren't going to go horribly wrong. So, we have still a bunch of uh, routing Takeda units. There was a chance of uh, one of the clans breaking. However, one of the uh, Tokugawa clans broke. So, now we're about even. And things look really bad over on the battlefield. A uh, little bit of swirling chaos over here. Eh, it's kind of the nature of the game. Uh, one of the things I'm noticing about the game, people who don't like putting chips down to remember stuff. It's going to be a tough game. Uh, so it's kind of like ASL or squad leader or whatever in terms of that. You're taking actions, you're putting chips down, you're taking them off, you're, you're playing around with a lot of stuff, what they'd call fiddly or whatever. But uh, I don't know. If you don't mind that, and I don't terribly kind of like mechanical processes, it does seem to simulate things well. I think there's a big learning curve, though, in terms of how to deploy your units, and there's still a good chance of a lucky break or whatever giving you an outflank that maybe would be tough to get in a lot of other games. Uh, call it, chalk it down to the fortunes of war. I think it does take some effort, though, to learn the system well enough to know how to use it. I mean, you know, we all know the things in the operational games, oh, every other hex or <laughs> whatever <laughs> for the zones of control. I think there are similar lessons in this that it would really be nice uh, if someone could distill them. I don't have them yet. I think they apply also to Gustavus Adolf or to the Musket and Pike series. They may apply to Man of Iron. Uh, just a bunch of rules on how to protect your flanks in these kind of games that so far I haven't seen, and 
it hasn't hit me as a, a, a clear moment of, oh yeah, I've got that now. Uh, I mean, you can kind of trail your flanks, but it's tough. I don't think it's completely possible just because um, you don't know how many actions the other guy's going to actually get. So you can reduce the chances of an effect, but you can't eliminate them completely. Uh, I'm expecting this fourth turn to be the last one. Uh, with that much force on the board against them, it's unlikely they're going to hold, but we'll see. So here we are at a moment. Um, the Tokugawa got most of what they wanted, which was they managed to route the entire left flank of the Takeda army. What they didn't get was the continuation uh, when they moved the Tokugawa faction itself. If they had, they would have begun falling back. Uh, instead, they failed that. Now they have to choose whether or not to activate one of these units on their left flank. Um, they've pretty much routed that entire side, so that's over already. They're going to get the three clans retreating, routing, likely. Um, what they're not going to get is off out of the way. <laughs> that steamroller is ready to come, and I'm not sure what they can do at this point. Quick shot of the Takeda assault just as it's about to begin. Another quick shot just before the second round of the Takeda assault. And for the third section of the uh, Takeda attack on the Tokugawa. Now this routed stack that includes uh, Yasu himself, uh, he escaped from the last battle. He's escaped from two battles, both times getting wounded. Uh, yeah. There's a slight chance each time that he can escape. So here's the situation at the end. I'm calling it here. Uh, we did have two of those clans that were running off from the Takeda. Uh, they ended up running from the field completely. So that side of the victory condition is covered already. And the Tokugawa are winning, sort of, kind of. Um, in terms of their own clan flight, they've only had one clan fl flee. But the Tokugawa himself is dead. He died in that last assault. And all of his troops are gone from his home clan. <laughs> um, I've got to make it through two more turns before I can try to retreat. This just seems silly. Uh, both this ninth clan here, uh, it, it, that's going to be eliminated, basically and Tokugawa's own clan will withdraw on anything but a nine. So give that and the fact that these guys are just totally outnumbered. This is a, a ridiculous situation, far worse than the historical uh, Tokugawa dying again. Uh, <laughs> makes things bad. All right, that's it. It's been an interesting scenario. I think this is one of the more fun ones I've had because it's very fast, but it's not at all balanced.